Control the Math Lady. Today we're talking about volume, capacity, and mass in the metric system. Turns out that there are some special relationships between uh, capacity, volume, and mass that once we memorize them will make our life easy in determining, like if you know the volume, you could figure out the mass and the capacity of a certain object. Take a look. So I've drawn a little chart here to help us learn how to memorize it. There's a relationship between the milliliters. Let's say we had water uh, and I poured water. I had one milliliter of water. Let's go ahead and put that. One milliliter of water. That one milliliter of water actually has a volume of one cubic centimeter. Right? So if I had a little, this is my little cubic centimeter. Right? I had a cube where each side was one, I could fit one milliliter of water into that and it would have a mass of one gram. Now, if I had, so I could also use this to make some conversions. We know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. So in one liter, it would make sense, would have 1,000 cubic centimeters and one kilogram, which by the way is a thousand grams. So here, the reason these don't say a thousand is because we made the conversion already, going from milliliters to liters and grams to kilograms. Once we know these measurements, if I gave you the capacity, you would be able to figure out the volume and the mass. If I gave you the volume, you'd be able to figure out the capacity and the mass. So let's try a few problems where we can make these conversions. Let's do some easy conversions. If I had 10 liters, right, 10 liters, let's say I had water, 10 liters of water, uh, what would be the volume, how much space would that take up in cubic centimeters? Well, 10 liters, it's 10 times one liter, so we could expect that to be 10,000 cubic centimeters. And if it's 10 liters, we're gonna have a mass. Remember mass is the weight of something without the gravitational pull taking effect. So 10 liters is gonna be 10 kilograms. Okay, let's do it now. We have 5,000 cubic centimeters. We wanna go over here to capacity. How many liters is that gonna be? Well, if we have 5,000, it's gonna be five liters. And what about kilograms? Five kilograms. And we've got eight kilograms, so now I'm working backwards. We're going to have 8,000 cubic centimeters. And we're going to have eight liters as well. Okay, let's try this with some real life problems. Take a look at this example. Michelle completely filled her 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 10 centimeter aquarium. Our jobs are to find the capacity, volume, and mass of all that water that she put in to the aquarium. Well, first of all, we can do is find the volume because we know the dimensions of the aquarium. And we know that the formula is length times width times height. So we're gonna use a calculator for this one, why not? And we're gonna do 20 times 15 times 10. And that works out to 3,000. So volume is going to be, here, I'll make it do it like this. Volume is going to be 3,000 cubic centimeters. Let's convert that now. So how much water is actually in this aquarium? She filled it to the top, so it's a complete conversion, which means there are three liters of water in the aquarium. And what is the mass of that water in the aquarium, right? The weight, regardless of our the gravitational pull, it's going to be three kilograms um, for the water. Okay, not too bad. And it's really that simple. As long as you have one of these pieces of information, you can find the other two by having memorized this relationship between capacity, volume, and mass. Definitely want to try a few of these practice problems in the practice set to make sure you've memorized this and you know how to apply it. I'll see you next time. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Take care. Bye-bye.